परफेक्ट आई थिंक इससे ज्यादा अच्छा एडवाइस नहीं हो सकता है बिकॉज जब जैसे तुम बोल रहे हो तो मुझे अपने दिन याद आ रहे हैं कि भाई मैंने भी तो सेम गलतियां करी थी एंड आई टेल ऑल एस्पिरेंस कि यार ये गलतियां मत करो प्लीज डोंट मेक दोज मिस्टेक्स इट्स वेरी हार्ड इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू प्रैक्टिस बट इट्स वेरी हार्ड यस Hi everyone my name is Anuj Jindal welcome to my channel today i have yash gupta who has recently cleared rbi 2020 2021 grade b examination aur yash ki story kafi zyada interesting hone wali hai he has been uh, uh, you know he has gone through it all that is what i can say to start with to uh, acche se discuss karenge detail mein discuss karenge to start with i would like yash to give an introduction about himself uski puri journey ke bare mein एजुकेशन वर्क एक्सपीरियंस जो भी आपने फेस किया है उसके बारे में थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस को बताओ और उसके बाद स्टार्ट करेंगे थैंक यू सर सर एक्चुअली ग्रेजुएटेड इन 2014 फ्रॉम आई टी बी एच यू एंड आफ्टर दैट आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन सो फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर आई सोलली प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम आई डेंट टू कप एनी टेक एनी जॉब इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन आई रियलाइज दैट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू टू गेट इन टू द इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑलरेडी थ्री ईयर इन पास and i was not able to clear the ups examination i joined a startup company and i worked there for a one year meanwhile like in 2017 itself i started giving rbi exam as well mm-hmm. so basically my target was upsc and rbi and i was and didn't give any other exams i was working and in 2019 i was left with just my last attempt of upsc so i decided to just focus on the exam and then i basically joined a coaching institute because it provided me the flexibility to prepare for the exam i gave my last attempt in upsc unfortunately it didn't work out and i continued to give the rbi exam and last year itself in the covid i joined in distance mba program for a renowned uh, distance mba course and i'm currently in my second year and working in a coaching institute as well perfect perfect so uh, tumne bahut sare failures dekhe hain you've seen a lot of failures before getting this final success okay. when you saw your name in the list after so many failures yes, such yes. a long list of failures yes, how yes. did you feel very very honest answer not yes. not ah, politically correct no no it's very relieved because ultimately after it becomes a point of a family because hmm. my parents were so tense that what i am i doing for the last 5 to 6 years i myself was also a lot of you know tense moments that self doubts aane lagte you know feel start started doubting yourself your abilities that whether you were good enough or whether you have joined a strong stream you should have done that your peer groups are doing good in other streams and mm. you are wasting your time in these exams which seats are very less competition is so insane so intense mm. and there is a lot of uncontrollable factors as well so you start doubting whether you have done the taken the right decision or not but when you see your list when you see your roll number it some at ultimately it feels that yes you have taken a right decision it feels very nice ultimately you whatever you just said na i think i i think what happened was i went back in time uh, main apne din yaad karne laga ki <laughs> <laughs> yaar that was the time when i used to have that self doubt ki yaar kuch nahi ho raha nothing works out everything is going south yes 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 koi baat nahi koi baat nahi i think uh, all these failures if we take them positively uh, yes. you know they they ultimately turn into something something good something yes, successful yes, yes, yes. nice to so, uh, ठीक है ये हमारी चीज हो गई एक बार यू सेड दैट यू वांटेड टू डिस्कस विद दी स्टूडेंट्स एंड यू वांटेड टू यू हैड सम पॉइंट्स इन माइंड जो तुम एस्पिरेंट्स को बताना चाहते हो लेट्स गेट ऑन विद देम एंड देन वी विल हैव माय क्वेश्चंस ओके सर वी स्टार्ट विद द फेस वन सो बेसिकली आई हैव रिटन सम पॉइंट्स सो दैट आई डू नॉट मिस एनी ऑफ द पॉइंट्स एंड एबल टू कम्युनिकेट टू द एस्पिरेंट्स क्लियरली दैट व्हाट बिकॉज़ आई हैव प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द लास्ट 7 इयर्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एग्जाम्स सो आई हैव एक्चुअली फाइंड समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट that mm. you should there are certain general principles for every exam you know mm. which which should be followed so basically for the phase one if i start with the content part so first you have to undergo all you have to read all the schemes very comprehensively because in this year phase one pattern the there was in the phase one itself there were many questions which were related to the schemes of the government of india so you should have a thorough understanding of the schemes with respect to the current affairs go with just one magazine there are a lot of magazines available in the market Beat a face cloud, beat a new general store magazine, and there's edu type magazine. There are a lot of magazines. Just follow one, because almost all the magazines content is more or less same. And and we can prioritize. The most important thing is prioritizing things. 
you have to grade your content if you look all the syllabus monolithically that this is the syllabus you are not able to start so start with your basic points identify which is the most important concepts which and then the important and the less important great prioritize prioritizing content is very important see because in an infinite syllabus when you have an infinite syllabus you need to prioritize things and if you are not prioritize things you are ending up learning all the things and you are losing all the energy and confidence to do that so i would say this first identify the important things and focus on those be it with the schemes be it with the current affairs and in the current affair itself what students can do is that many people tell that learn one year current affairs learn six months just focus on three months three months intensively and the rest three months if you have time and energy and if you have covered all the three months perfectly then go with the less intensive magazines for example i would say a bankers and dar the magazine which is just a 20 page magazine just go through that skim through that pages and go with the priority grade just grade your content and you know, and if you are grading it it will help in maintaining a good and positive energies this is with respect to the ga part and with respect to the qre now there's only one word for it that is practice and practice with time pressure many students what they do they practice without any having any time pressure that's not going to happen in your exam you are going to solve all the questions but ultimately everything boils down to the time how much time are you taking to solve the question so from the day one do not wait that you will learn the concepts then you will practice you are actually wasting your time from the day one for the very first day start practice learning and practice should go on simultaneously and while practicing it should have a time pressure so basically this is with respect to the phase one and uh, sir if you have any questions asked with respect to yes the... yes yes ah. phase one se uh, kafi important question hai ah. uh, something that i realized very recently mujhe abhi tak realization nahi tha kuch students se baat kari and i realized it mm-hmm. a lot of students have started practicing through videos Mm-hmm. which i think is not the correct approach mm-hmm. agar aapka concept clear hai you get hold of a book mm-hmm. aap questions uthaiye aur time pressure laga ke 30 minute 20 minutes ka timer laga ke and you practice right so i think uh, this is something that we need to get out ki bhai practicing videos se nahi hota hai practice khud baith ke hota hai exactly sir sir just do what is in the real time conditions yes. real real exam test conditions you are not going to have a video in front of you hmm then do not acclimatize with that condition that you have a video then you will take a pause and you will solve hmm do what from the day, from the very first day do what what's this uh, acclimatize with that condition which is you are going to face in the exam itself hmm if okay if you are not able to solve the 30 minutes pro, um, uh, mathematics problem a quant problem just start with 5 minutes hmm just start with 10 minutes but start with the little little steps do not in the initial when i said do not look at things monolithically hmm. right just prioritize grade that okay i'll first solve two minutes problem and then i'll go with the three minute problem small small steps will take you to the greater heights it's like this yes yes very nice go on please go on with phase 2 ha huh. for the phase 2 i have actually decided and uh, divided the content in objective and subjective yes now for the objective if we go with this uh, static content in the objective part see any coaching material is suffice Hmm. any coaching material and just one stick with hmm. that because almost all the materials are almost same because i have i have read all the materials of different coachings hmm. because when you give four attempts in you rbi you actually go through all the materials and you realize hmm. that almost all the things are same hmm. just stick with one and read that one only continuously hmm. if it's possible if it's possible you can also read the working pdf which is quite you know famous among the interview candidates hmm. why i'm saying working pdf because you actually in this year's paper almost a one paragraph came hmm. from the working pdf rather than going through rbi notifications and going to rbi circulars you can actually read that book then that book will help in your interview as well so you can read that book in your main paper itself hmm. that will help in your improving your concepts in what are the how monetary policy rate functions and all these things will get clear before giving main examination and in the objective part they are going little deep in esi particularly particularly the esi and with current affairs part one newspaper stick with one newspaper i would recommend business standard business standard is very comprehensive and it covers the government part as well very well you know and uh, till mains if it's possible just read one newspaper you can also read the other newspaper editorials do not go do not read the newspaper full full just read the editorial part hmm. of other newspaper like live mint hindu business line hmm. and as you are reading newspapers you will identify there are certain authors there certain speakers or you know columnist who writes very good column or we have a very analytical bent of mind mm. you can write them down you can follow them on twitter mm. and I, all these things you can do it 
there are anand narayan professor of sp jain who talks very critically you can mm. learn those critical points that will help in your mains subjective part as well mm. so and and the next and the third most important thing is attempt as many mock tests possible in the objective part mm. and learn from your mock test because you cannot cover infinite syllabus you cannot cover everything and grading and prioritizing things will also matter here mm. and uh, for subjective part i have actually written down a little and the document is just to wait here acha for this for actually for descriptive writing uh, i would recommend that first you have to read the whole syllabus and understand the relevance of each topic that in the in the rbi has has uh, prepared the syllabus and there are certain interlinkages you have to identify those interlinkages that how fintech is being connected with the monetary policy how these are there is an interlinkage Mm. you have to identify and how will you identify when you read the syllabus thoroughly understand the syllabus and just structure them properly that there is a financial system then there are financial institutions then there are financial markets and where where are the consumers what are the role of the rbi you just make a structure out of all the syllabus points you will fit those syllabus points into it then there is a commercial banking system which comes under the financial institution all these things will come under it first you have to understand the syllabus so understand the syllabus after understanding it learn the basic what when why how of each topic what exactly it is what exactly is fintech how why 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 are we talking about fintech how is going to challenge us so basically what why merits demerits challenges and what steps government has taken in the recent past to ensure that they function properly so what why topics you can do it from any coaching material very coaching material provides it if you want to go further deep you can google you can make your notes because you have time make put some effort but ha huh. yes sir if you google something you will actually putting your efforts and that will help you if possible i would not recommend uh, in the mains preparation if possible re- read most important speeches of the deputy governor for example cbdc i am not recommending read every speech read every publication that's not possible for the mains just because cbdc is a very new topic and if governor is deputy governor has delivered a speech on that you should be aware of it you should know the no answers of it and the basic concepts of it so go with the speeches and if you are doing in the main main stage that will ultimately help in your interview stage because ultimately a target is to get into an rbi and you have to clear the interview just clearing mains will not help you know and uh, read bi monthly policy statements as well bi monthly policy very important statements it comes in bi monthly two months period of time and one important thing that generally students read the bi monthly policy of governor which releases i think around 10 30 or 10 am and then there is a 12 noon there is a press conference which is taken by the deputy governor and the governor itself you need to go through that press conference as well because then typical difficult questions are being asked by the journalist and you have to go through that questions as well you will get a better understanding once you go through the journalist question so this is with respect to the content part after preparing content you have you need to ensure that you have 1000 word content roughly 1000 words 1000 words for each topic for example i should have a content of fintech of 1000 words which includes challenges demerits because ultimately you have to write 600 words so at least make a content of 1000 words you will be able to remember 400 words and you will be able to write 350 something like this so you have to make a content little big and you know, remember and integrate these topics then the most important part is practice as we have been discussing a lot attempting mock tests attempting practice and with practice when i say do not jump to the difficult questions start with the most easy most easy most basic question what is fintech build your confidence see confidence is very important in these examinations what matters is your confidence everyone is going to face the same competition same pressure a uh, time pressure is everyone is facing the same heat ultimately your mental energy mental stress confidence matter that you build your confidence gradually there is a process first attempt the simple questions easy questions practice them make your habit give one hour to these practicing those questions start with very easy questions what is monetary policy how is going to affect this then if you are able if you achieve excellence in that part move to the most difficult part and for you can start with and i would say that please avoid becoming champion in just one month people assume that we should we will become the best writer in just one month and make up you know unrealistic plans that in one month we'll achieve the target so you should have if you have time if you have six months you should divide it accordingly you know simple questions and structuring is very important in descriptive part 
whatever written uh, structuring is very important you just, you just don't have to write everything anything structure your answer properly that what are the positives if the question is asked mention the subheadings help the help the teacher to understand that okay now you are writing this part now you are writing that part so write subheading subheadings are very very important if you are writing answers if you are not writing subheading because many times the teachers are going to skim through your descriptive answers so just write the subheadings in in your capital letters put colon and if write anything after that if you have if you have written good subheadings he will read the subheadings he will understand okay he moves and he will move on so subheadings are very important then in conclusion part in introduction you can write with your recent events any target and if you have to if you have to identify what are the basic you know templates so in introduction you can start with your definitions what exactly is the fintech is given in your question define fintech you can start with the recent events that what recent event has happened and in the body part you you should not write subheadings and in the conclusion part you need to have a future orientation that in 5 years down the line we are going to expect a fintech to become by 2025 learn some targets government is busy in giving in giving us targets we are government is for giving us target giving us the vision so learn all these targets and try to fit those targets in whatever question it comes Ta- and and your answer always with target 5 trillion dollar economy just write anything you know and uh, once you are done with simple questions just go with difficult questions and and ultimately it's very important that since it's a competition you are not expected to score 80% or 90% of marks most importantly you just have to outcompete others it's very important to understand sir ultimately it's not you are not required to score 90% you have to outcompete so daily one hour practice for descriptive is a very good thing very good habit and one should inculcate that you know and uh, just and this is all i've spoken a lot so this is basically with respect to the phase 2 any questions are related to yes 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 perfect i think kafi acche se tumne summarize karke bata diya hai already uh, i don't see there is a lot left but uh-huh. since you mentioned notes that you used to make notes uh, mm-hmm. i would want to ask you did you make notes or do you make notes online or do you make notes on paper and how do you use these notes effectively for revision because that is where students face a lot of challenge uh, sir i actually prefer a hybrid form of notes for actually static part i made a notes on my with handwriting hmm. handed in notes for static part because it's not going to change why i'm saying this because if you are making current notes with your handwriting then you are going to add new new points again and again and that it, it will become a mess so for your the static part of for the basic what is bank you can make a handed in notes and that will be preserved for a long period longer period of time for current parts because you most of the students now read newspapers online so if you are reading online if you are uh um, go with the if you're opening any link you're copying pasting any materials just copy paste if you if you like copy paste the material on your evernote and but but the most important part is if you're copy if you copy pasted the notes for a time period it's okay but in the night or tomorrow or any any after after, after some period of time you have to reframe those things in your own language that's also part of your descriptive practice if you're not reframing those lines in your own language then it's not actually helping you out in the current part hmm. and and after reframing those insert in your content as i mentioned that you have a you should have a thousand word content of each topic so if you are reading from a newspaper if you are reading from any magazine of any current related things just insert those structure properly structure your uh, syllabus and try to ensure that you should have a 1000 word content of each topic that is mentioned in the syllabus and as with the static part just keep it with your handwritten notes because that you can preserve for a long period of time but but in the end i would say that it's a very subjective thing it ultimately depends upon student there is no hard rule that you have to form this it's just very subjective thing ultimately everything boils down to your ability to reproduce in your exam hmm hmm so practice that you will be able to do that perfect very nice uh, last question related to interview because we've not yet talked about the interview तो यू मस्ट हैव फेस्ड दिस क्वेश्चन कि यार 2013 में पास आउट हुए व्हाट हैव यू बीन डूइंग सिंस नाउ सिंस देन सो देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव दिस गैप लॉट ऑफ बैंकिंग एस्पिरेंट्स आल्सो जो गैप में ये विशेष साइकिल में फंस जाते हैं एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सो वन वे ऑफ टैकलिंग दिस दैट यू मेंशनड वी कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट आल्सो बट क्या-क्या इंटरव्यू में इसके अराउंड क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए एंड हाउ डिड यू टैकल दीस क्वेश्चंस बेसिकली इफ यू हैव गैप and you know, you're already under confident but you should not be first of all understand that they are not going to judge based on your past 
if you're not able to defend your past then it's going to harm you you should have a full conviction that yes sir i did this i did that and at that point of the time that was the best decision i could take for myself presently i am trying to amend mend those things how can you mend those things for example if you have been preparing for the upsc for the last 4 years you are not doing any job and if you are going to an interview and saying sir i have been preparing with upsc you are and you are showing that you have do not have any zeal enthusiasm to achieve new things okay everyone knows see everyone knows that in rbi interview man, most of us are upsc failed candidates i would say that that you have not able to clear upsc that's why you are coming here in rbi everyone knows that do not give try to do not try to show that yes no no sir rbi is better than ias ips and do not try to you know make a fool of themselves mm-hmm. just be honest and say that yes i prepared for the four years i prepared but now since i have developed an interest i am pursuing some course do some formal graduate some formal course of economic and finance there are so many massive open, open online courses available there are certified programs of iim bangalore on on platforms like edx and all of these things learn something and you can you have you can write those things on your bio data form it will give a good impression okay for the four years he has prepared for the upsc but now at present he is pursuing something he is trying to improve he has zeal to learn something new ultimately they are looking for those persons who have a zeal to learn because sir, as everyone knows but we do not realize this line that sir rb is a knowledge driven institution everyone learns that everyone speaks it but what exactly is knowledge driven knowledge driven is basically they are finding person who has the capability to learn new things regularly so at present if you are saying that no sir i have yes, i have graduated in so in 2016 or 2017 for, for the last four years i have been preparing for the upsc and now i am doing nothing so basically it shows that all your efforts were still 2016 or 2017 Mm. you're not doing anything new you are preparing for the upsc mm. but if you want to change the things join new course show them that if if uh, if uh, i am doing this particular course it shows that i have interest and i'm going to change my past experiences that what i have been facing mm 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 i so, think very well said yeah unko ye dekhna hai in short that how uh, confident have you been about your yes. past decisions and yes. how future oriented are you as any ki past mein phasa hua hai ha exactly sir exactly how can you show that you are future oriented learn something new hmm. say that i am pursuing this program and that will help me two years down the line in this particular field hmm. show that even if you have a computer science background because computer science and finance they are looking for something which you know you have a good knowledge of finance and if you have good knowledge of finance that's an icing on the cake that's okay it's hmm. very good but hmm. still everyone can't learn computer science but since you have been preparing for the financial finance side things you are you are learning lot of things you are learning working pdf you are reading business newspaper so just following just doing a course is very easy thing hmm. just just do one course and then after the introduction of technology and internet you can do from your home right no just just show them that you have energy to learn yeah, and that right. will help that will help राइट right. बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स मुझे दिखते हैं ऐसे जो बोलते हैं हु से दैट वी आर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फाइनेंस दैट्स व्हाई आई वांट टू जॉइन आरबीआई हां हां बट देन दे डोंट हैव एनीथिंग टू सपोर्ट इट एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली यू हैव टू सपोर्ट यू हैव टू सब्सटेंशिएट अ वन थिंग आई वांट टू ऐड दैट इन इंटरव्यू व्हाट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर इज योर डेटा ओरिएंटेशन डेटा ओरिएंटेड पर्सन वेदर इन एवरीथिंग यू स्पीक यू शुड बैक विद सम डेटा हम्म दिस समथिंग व्हिच डिफरेंशिएट्स यू फ्रॉम अदर पीपल Hmm. If you are speaking, sir, random things, random. Th- everyone knows. Our parents know a lot of things. Hmm. But what separates us from our parents? What separates us from a candidate who is serious? Hmm. He, we will be able to support things with data. After hmm. all, in RBI, is, see if the RBI objective paper is all about data. They are asking us to learn some memorize data. Then why are not they looking in interview? Hmm. They are also looking the same thing in interview as well. Hmm. If you are talking about inflation, just start with data and with two decimal points. Learn. Hmm. you are already wasting you are already preparing for a lot, lot of things just learn the data hmm. try to crack 5.595 just learn the two decimal points hmm. and in the same way if you are saying i have an interest and if there is no data if there is no example to support it then it will falter hmm. Hmm. and then it is very easy to blame upsc it's very easy to blame past see every every type of students have cleared it it depends on how you present your past how confident are you and how you able to defend it Hmm. But I have taken. See, everyone to err is to human. We have com- committed wrong mistakes. We have committed wrong decisions. It's fine. Everyone does that. But it depends on how we take things forward. Your, what is your orientation? How are you going to do in future? They are looking for the candidates. Hmm. That, that how are they going to contribute an organization in the coming period of time? Right, right, yeah. right. Very well said. Yes, uh, 
ऑल दो यू हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ टिप्स बट अगर हम कंप्रेस करें पूरे इंटरव्यू को एंड लेट से टू कंक्लूड व्हाट वुड बी दैट वन टिप और वन इंपॉर्टेंट लर्निंग दैट यू वुड वांट टू शेयर विद द एस्पिरेंट्स क्योंकि तुम्हारी जर्नी काफी फेलियर्स के साथ रही है सो आई डोंट थिंक देयर कैन बी अ बेटर पर्सन फॉर देम टू यू नो गिव आउट एनी वन टिप व्हिच कैन हेल्प देम वन टिप आई हैव टू से जस्ट द प्रैक्टिस many people in the upsc as well as in the rbi one thing that the most common thing why students are not able to clear is they go on for the easier thing right and, and the easy thing is to learn ha huh. you if you have a, enough time you will learn you will try to learn 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 and you will you know make lot of things you will feel that okay i am learning new things but if you are not practicing it's not going to help you out in any case and hmm. many of us i have also committed the same mistake while i was preparing for the upsc in the initial years i used hmm. to focus lot on learning rather hmm. than practicing those things out hmm so one thing is practice practice in your interviews practice in your objective part practice in your descriptive part practice the qre quantities in english and practice your current affairs so ultimately practice is the most important word perfect i think isse zyada acha advice nahi ho sakta hai because jab jaise tum bol rahe ho to mujhe apne din yaad aa rahe hain ki bhai maine bhi to same galtiyan kari thi and i tell all the aspirants ki yaar ye galtiyan mat karo please don't exactly. repeat those mistakes it's very hard it's very hard to practice but it's ultimately ha uh, yes yes if you want to crack this you have to do hard things you have to do this difficult part. you have, you have yes. to go through this difficult part yes, right yes. right and i remember uh, uh, me and my brother we used to study together uh-huh. and he got through i did not i always uh-huh. faltered towards the end एंड जब खत्म हो गया कि यार अब यूपीएससी नहीं लिखना है देन आई वेंट बैक इन टाइम एंड आई फेल्ड कि यार हमने क्या गलती करी थी एंड देन आई रियलाइज आई डिड नॉट प्रैक्टिस ही वाज द वन हु केप प्रैक्टिस एग्जैक्टली दैट वाज द वन डिफरेंस दैट वन डिफरेंस सो जस्ट वन डिफरेंस प्रैक्टिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड इन यस 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 चलो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर न्यू इनिंग्स आई थिंक इट्स गोइंग टू बी वंडरफुल आफ्टर ऑल दीस इयर्स फाइनली यू हैव टेस्टेड सक्सेस एंड आई एम वेरी सर्टेन बहुत मजा आ रहा होगा अभी Yes, yes. So yes. enjoy it. Have a nice time, and thanks yes. a lot for coming online for sharing your experience with the aspirants. Thank you, sir. Thank you.